Hey guys, what's up? Apple Freak Emily here. Today I am going to be filming my school year's vlog. And I am literally a walking advertisement right now. So I am going to fix that. Okay, I'm back. Is this a good outfit swap? Do I look very nice? I don't know, but the sun is like peering in over there and my eyes and it hurts. So I have my notes and this will be my school year's vlog for the year second grade. First of all, um, on the first day of second grade, we had our little name tags and our classroom was divided into like two rows, this one right here and like one right here, but they were like really, really long rows because it was like long rectangular classroom. And on the first day, obviously we had to find our seats because they were already assigned, like we had our alphabet and then our like name tags taped onto our desks. So I got there early and one of the last people to arrive in the classroom was this girl Alex. Her real name is Alexandra. So anyway, she liked to be called the Alex. I didn't know that. Um, so she's one of the last people to walk into the classroom. She's the girl that sits across from me. So a girl walks into the classroom. I knew it was her because everybody else was in the classroom. I go, Alexandra, your seat's right over here, right in front of me. So um, I don't really know, like remember the rest of the story, but then, pretty much from then on, we were best friends, and yeah, I have a lot of good times with her, and we are still really close friends today, so that is how I met my best friend. One of my best friends, I should say, but... Okay, so, um, in my kindergarten and first grade vlogs, I probably mentioned that I went to the principal's office a lot. Second grade, this was my only year in elementary school where I really did not ever have to go to the principal's office, um, except there was one time we had this student teacher named Miss Beach. We did not get along. We have very, I don't know, we have very distinct personalities and we did not get along together. Anyway, so we were playing this game and we had to write the answers on a dry erase board and we had to keep it under the desk so that the other students couldn't see our answers. Um, so I decided it would be, I wanted mine on my desk because I wanted the desk to write on. I didn't want the board on my lap. That was annoying. That was not happening for me. So anyway, she goes, Emily, your board needs to be under your desk so people cannot see your answers. And I go, no, like I pretty much just refused to put the board on my desk. I wonder how one-sided these stories are. I refused to put the board on my lap. Every time she would look away, I would be like, <laughs> and I would put it on my desk. And she knew this was happening, and she yelled at me, so she told me to put my name on the board. I was like, I don't care, I put my name on the board all the time. So I put my name on the board, I didn't care, whatever. So then, I just kept on doing it, and like, I would like put the corner up on my desk. I, would just, I was just being like, you know, bad. I was being bad and not listening. Does that really surprise you? No. I don't know, eventually she told me like, go to the principal's office, like, I don't know what to tell you to do anymore, go to the principal's office. And I wouldn't go, I refused to go. I was like, I'm not going, you cannot, can't make me. And like, I mean, I guess she couldn't make me. She's not allowed to pick me up and take me there. She told my actual teacher to call like people from the office and like people from the office like literally had to come get me and like bring me down to the principal's office and I don't know, I just remember that so vividly. My last story is going to be the story of when we missed our recess call. <laughs> they let us out by grade level pretty much, so first the kindergartners, then the first graders, and the second graders, and then the third graders. Um, so we were out for recess, and then the way they call you back in is they like have these megaphones, they're really loud, and they're like, Mrs. D -D Does class, you are going inside now. And you had to listen for that, um, like you always knew what time it would be at, so I don't know, it wasn't ever really a problem. And you would line up by the door and go inside. So the one day, me and my friend Alex were playing, and we start seeing all these third graders, and we're like, what the heck? Like, where, where, where's our class? Where's our grade? We go up to one of the ladies, and we're like, hey, was our class called already? And we, like, knew. We were just being, I don't even know. And she's like, um... Yeah, your class was called 20 minutes ago, and she took us back inside, and we were so embarrassed, and we had to, like, walk into back into our classroom, and, like, our teacher was, like, reading a story, <laughs> and just, like, nobody noticed that we were missing for 20 minutes, and, I don't know, it was just, I, I remember that, it was an interesting day. So, anyway, those are some stories that I have from second grade. I will 
continue to do these school years vlogs. I'm sorry I've been absent for a while from my YouTube presence. It's, I don't know, school's busy. It's midterms week, but next week is spring break, so holler at that. So I guess have a good week. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye! Since they are just a horrible idea, you will never want to go, and you will be tired because you will likely not have gotten your eight hours of sleep you need at